right, lumberjack steaks. Uh, this recipe is inspired uh, by the German recipe Holzfaller steak, which means just the same thing, um, lumberjack steak. Um, and it's and it's made with pork shoulder steaks. I have a pack of pork shoulder steaks here. Now I make no claim to this being uh, an authentic German recipe um, because I've adopted uh, I've adapted it. Um, in particular, the German Holzfaller steak is typically served with the rind on and with the rind crisped up. Um, I'm going to follow the recipe mm, fairly closely. Um, but with a few minor adjustments of my own because that's the kind of guy I am um, and we'll get on and do it so first of all we've got to make a, a marinade for the pork steaks and we do that by we're brining it uh, I've got half a cup of um, brining salt here or corning salt you can use any salt you've got um, I've got some this is my new best mate. This is uh, my new best mate. Is slap your mama. I saw it. Um, I saw it used by Taste of Trini on one of her recipes, and um, that lady really knows her spices. So um, I, I took it on her uh, say so, and I bought myself <laughs> a, a nice large amount of this uh, wonderful slap your mama, uh, which is a Cajun seasoning, and it's made. Uh, with I think with garlic and um, red pepper and salt and you know it's just an amazing seasoning I love it uh, I've just started using it tried it a couple of times and it's my new best mate all right <laughs> okay um, I'm going to use a few chili flakes um, because to me uh, if it hasn't got chili in it I don't particularly like it <laughs> I just love a bit of spice yeah you're going to need a uh, a, a, a good sized onion and I've split that in half and the reason is I'm going to use half of it for one thing and half for the marinade uh, and again I, I've used quite a lot of rosemary this rosemary comes from my garden if you want to substitute it with dried rosemary you need about a handful of dried rosemary yeah if you're using fresh herbs you need you actually tend to need more than you need if you're using dried herbs I've also got four cloves of garlic. I've got some sage because I, I think sage goes really well with pork and that is a, a fact as far as I'm concerned. And I've also got some uh, juniper berries. Uh, juniper berries are, are used quite a lot. In, uh, they're called Wacholderbeeren in German and they use quite a lot and it's, uh, it's probably um, where, where, where the, the term lumberjack comes from because the juniper is a type of pine and uh, these are the berries from that um, and I'm going to use some black pepper because I always do and the next thing we've got to do is get these uh, pork steaks marinated all right the marinade um, let's get in some water I'm putting in half a litre there and I'm putting in some salt and I'm going to strip some of this about half of this rosemary Chuck it all in like that. Get any garlic, four cloves of garlic, and half the onion into it, and we're making a marinade. So I'm going to get that stirring around a bit. Let me get the rest of that in there. And into that, I want some a generous amount of slap your mama because I think it'd be rude not to now that it's my new best mate. So, slap your mum has got some salt in it anyway, and um, it's got garlic in it as well. I'm going to want about a teaspoon of chilli flakes because I like it like that. Some like it hot, and I'm going to want about half a teaspoon of sage in there. About that. That goes in a bit more actually. Let's call that a teaspoon of sage. Let's get that in there. Um, plenty of cracked black jack, plenty of black pepper, because I can, and I'm going to get some juniper berries, I want about, about that many, about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, just, well about a teaspoon I would say, and what I do is I put these down flat, because they're 
a slightly dried berry and they're rather oily but we like to burst them just to get the let me show you that no where are you there you are we I'm just bursting them and they got a lovely gin smell that's the smell of gin because gin is flavored with juniper for those of you who didn't know and into this marinade goes my lovely delicious British pork chops um, these are pork shoulder steaks and there's 700 grams and they're cut into nice steaks like that these these are fairly tender because they come from the shoulder of the pork um, but what we can do is just get them into the marinade they're already trimmed up and ready to go and that needs to sit in that marinade now for about an hour for at least an hour uh, it doesn't need to be marinated overnight because it's not exactly like marinating a turkey or salt brining a turkey or uh, or a chicken or a large piece of ham or something um, uh, it, it only needs about an hour to get those flavors nice and infused so we get that in cover it with a lid and put it aside uh, at room temperature for about an hour or more all right my steaks have marinated for well over an hour now I'm just gonna take them out and pat them dry just make sure brush all the the majority of the marinade off them and then we'll get them in here and pat them dry I'm just gonna pat them dry on some kitchen paper all right so that's done they're brined let me get some more kitchen paper just to pat them off dry and the next thing we need to do is I'm going to get those nice and um, get those nice and um, browned off because I'm going to finish those off in the oven in a very hot oven all right that's uh, the pans just heating up got a little bit of oil in the bottom and now I'm going to transfer my steaks to that pan I should get all four in this one, it's a nice big pan. Yeah. So all we want to do at this stage is get a good sear going on them. Flip them over. Because it's been brined, you need to get a good heat in the pan, otherwise they'll only start poaching. But as you can see, the bottom of the pan's browning. Maybe a little bit more oil to get it going. So we get a sear on them, and then what I want to do is transfer these um, to a prepared baking tray and then bake them in a very very hot oven all right well that's finishing off i'll just change the camera angle and show you the baking tray okay once your meat is sealed transfer them across to the baking tray and what i've got in there we've got some onion i've got some peppers got some um, rosemary uh, and that's just sitting there on the bed got some sliced peppers on there because I like peppers with pork they're rather good and we just put those steaks on top of there like that and then transfer that to a hot oven that hot oven needs to be 200 degrees Celsius uh, which is uh, 400 degrees Fahrenheit and they need to go in there for around about uh, 15 perhaps even 20 minutes so we'll get back to you uh, once that's done what you can sorry what you can do at this point is give them a little sprinkle more of some seasoning I'm using slap your mama which I like my new best mate and I think I'll give it a little tinkle more of, of some sage 
because pork never suffers for a bit of sage. Okay, do. Let's get that in the oven. All right, let's see what it looked like. Here we go. Whoa. And there they are. I'm going to take one of those and cut one up just to show you what it looks like. But there you go. There you go. Take one of the steaks off. Put it on the plate. And let's see how this one works out. Nice. Juicy pork steak. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing shabby about that and perfectly seasoned. So there you go. Uh, lumberjack steak. Holzfaller steak as they call it in Germany. Or something very close to it. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.